similar things together. Oh, this looks kind of nice. I do all types of artwork. You gotta keep the dancers together. Uh, professionally, I'm a tattoo artist, and I also do custom painting of motorcycles and cars and things like that. that that's what I mostly do for a living. In my spare time, uh, I do oil painting, acrylic painting, and wood sculpting. It was uh, four different models for that painting. My wife and I are into ballroom dancing so much, and you, as you can see, much of my painting has got to do with dancers, beautiful women in dance attire. But one of his most talked about pieces came from something he found. It was an old photograph that I had come across uh, in the past six months or so of uh, my wife and I when we were first dating back in 1992. And uh, she just looked so pretty in it, and I thought, this is, this is perfect, I have to do a painting. I didn't do a lot of painting back in those days. I was mostly wood sculpting and, and tattooing. Uh, and so, so it really came out nice, and as it was developing, of course, the comments started coming about this looks just like that, that famous uh, National Geographic woman. So uh, uh, I looked that up and she had those piercing green eyes. Yeah, well, that's good. But Mark's latest inspiration came from a place where he grew up as a child in New York State, old abandoned vehicles. The patinas of the old rust and the story that might fall behind the owners or several owners of this vehicle, why it was abandoned. Uh, it's just, I think it touches people. It certainly touches me take as much space in it as we can get. Is this something you've always wanted to do as a child? Was, yes. Was, was become an artist? Yes, yeah. Talk to me a little Absolutely. bit about what, what inspired you to become an artist. Just the overwhelming, how, how is that even possible to make something look like that? How, co how come that was mountains look miles away when I can touch them with my finger? How, how is that possible? Obviously, you're you're tricking your, your senses somehow and through it was in my vision to become an artist, to, to speak as a career. I actually went to school for welding, uh, but I just kept leaning towards art, drawing more, leaning towards art more, and I, I became a tattoo artist at 19. And if you'd like to see more of Mark's creations, you can visit his site at paintthefloor.pixels.com. For CCTV Artist of the Month, I'm Tom Lloyd.